What is happening guys, Chaotic here with my first Borderlands 2 video. Today we are going to be running through the top 10 weapons in the game. Now before we get started, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below with your favourite weapon in the game. Starting off the list, first up is... The Pimpernel. So the Pimpernel is a Malawan sniper rifle and it can be found in all elemental varieties. Benefits of this is it does make it highly suitable for nearly all enemies in the game. Um, if you want to get your hands on this gun, you're going to have to complete the side mission. Don't copy that floppy, which you will get from Sensorbot in the Washburn Refinery as part of the Captain Scarlet DLC. The Northfleet. This is the only launcher that's made it onto the list and really, once you have this launcher, you really aren't going to need another one in the game. Once you pair this launcher with a sham shield, the game basically goes into god mode. This weapon is the ultimate weapon for fight for your life. The splash damage on this gun alone will take down nearly anything with the exception of maybe badasses or the overleveled. Now, if you want to get your hands on this launcher, you'll either have to defeat Hyperius, which will be in the Washburn Refinery, or by leveling up Varkids to spawn for Mivirus. Now This will probably have to be done on co-op, because getting Vermin to spawn in solo is almost impossible. The Lady Fist. Now, this is a Hyperion pistol, which will come in all elemental varieties. Now, in regards to damage dealt, the Lady Fist isn't the best gun, however, what it does benefit from is a fantastic special effect. The Lady Fist comes with an 800% critical hit damage bonus. When you factor into consideration that this is a Hyperion gun which will increase accuracy the longer that you hold the trigger, you will shred pretty much any enemy you come across if you have the correct element for that enemy. If you want to get your hands on this gun, you will have to complete the Uncle Teddy mission, which you can find in Firestone, provided that you give the blueprint for TK's wave to Unabaha instead of the Hyperion Corporation. The Grog Nozzle. Now, the Grog Nozzle is a Moxie pistol, which will only come in the Slag variant. So the Grog Nozzle is by far and away the best Moxie weapon in the game. This gun will give you 65% healing for all damage done. Add into the fact that it has a crazy high slag chance and you have a gun that is almost impossible to miss for any ultimate vault hunt or playthrough. Now, to get a hold of this gun, you will have to start the Beard Makes the Man side quest in the Tiny Tina DLC. Now, once you start this mission, you cannot complete it and turn it in. Otherwise, you will lose access to the Grog Nozzle. The Infinity Pistol. This is a Vladov pistol that will come in all elemental variants. Now, this weapon actually holds a special place in my heart as it was the first legendary I ever got whilst playing Borderlands 2. As the name would suggest, this gun has unlimited ammo, which makes it a great fallback weapon for when you're running low on other ammo types. To get this gun, you'll have to have completed the Doc Orders quest from Dr. Said in Sanctuary and then farm Dr. Mercy in the Three Horns Valley. You also have a chance of getting this weapon from the Gold Golem and Tubby Bones in the Tiny Tina DLC, as well as the chance of this weapon dropping as a world drop. The Interfacer. This is the first set of weapon that is featured on the list and this is a Hyperion shotgun. Now the Interfacer does have a strange spread and it can make it somewhat tricky to master as this gun has its standard straight spread as well as two mirroring arcing spreads. As I say it is rather tricky to master however if you do learn how this spread works you will have one of the most powerful shotguns in the game. Now to get this weapon, you do have to go through quite a difficult process. You have to defeat one of three bosses, which will either be Veracitus, Dexidious, or Omd Omd Ock, or Triple O for short. 
You can also find this from the Serra Fender and Hunter's Grotto and all of these will be part of Sir Hammerlock's DLC. The Sandhawk. This is a down SMG which you can get in all elements. This to me is by far the best SMG in the game. Using this gun whilst aiming down sights to get the awesome burst fire effect and just watch as the health bars disappear. The Sandhawk is especially powerful when you pair this with the B-Shield as the added damage from the B-Shield will add to each one of the projectiles from the Sandhawk. To get hold of this weapon you will need to complete the Whoops mission in warm water as part of the Captain Scarlet DLC. The Lyuda. Between the awesome critical hit damage, excellent fire rate and the fact that you can get this in any element, this Vladov sniper rifle is the best sniper in the game in my opinion. No matter which character you play as, this weapon will make light work of most enemies. However, using Zero or Maya will really show you what this weapon is all about. If you want the Lyuda, you will get this from Ghetto in the Dust, having completed the Good, the Bad and the Mordecai quest, or as a world drop in game. The Conference Call. This Hyperion shotgun is the best shotgun in the game, and in my opinion, one of the best overall weapons in Borderlands 2. It did feel a little bad only putting this gun at second, I just feel that the gun at number one just slightly edges this one. The special red text on this weapon is ping everyone at once. And once you've got this gun, that is exactly what you'll do. This gun has a crazy number of projectiles that split off in opposite directions once they hit an initial target. Like the Lyuda, this gun works great with all characters. However, if you put this in the hands of a Gunzer King Salvador or an Anarchy Build Gage, watch as the enemies disappear in front of you. To get this awesome shotgun, you'll have to defeat the warrior or the handsome sorcerer in the Tiny Tina DLC. And number one on my top 10 weapons in all of Borderlands 2 is the Unkempt Harold. This Torg pistol isn't just the best pistol in the game, but the best weapon overall. The Unkempt Harold is an absolute monster of a weapon, destroying pretty much everything in its path. There isn't a bad version of the Unkempt Herald, however, if you do find yourself fortunate enough to get a double penetrating version, you will be the most unstoppable badass on Pandora. To get a hold of this weapon, you can either buy it as the item of the day from the Torg machines in the Campaign of Carnage DLC, or by farming Savage Lee in Three Horns Divide. That is all folks, I am Chaotic. Thank you very much for watching this video, please smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel while I leave you with this awesome 7 easter egg. Bye guys! Oh, what's in the box? Fight!